Hello Scarpers, today we will check together where is the gold and where is the palladium hidden in these old boards. These are memory modules from very old Soviet Union computer, probably 40 years old computer. And they are in condition not fitting my collection, you see many electronic elements missing on top. That's why we will scrap them. Let's start with palladium. Palladium is here, palladium is in these resistors. You see they have a screw on the side, you can change the resistance rotating this screw. And I'll show you in detail now where exactly palladium is. Here I took one of these resistors, you see nice aluminum box. If you remove the cap of this box, it's a small aluminum cap, you have just to punch it and remove it. Inside you see a plastic circle element. This plastic circle element Let's have a closer look at it. On top has a metal contact. This metal contact contains alloy of silver and palladium. Let me show you how it looks like. Here is the contact on top and this contact contains palladium and silver. Okay, but uh, now I'll show you one more thing important about this um, resistors because palladium can be hidden in one more place. Uh, this is what is left from the aluminum box. Here is an axis, it's silver plated, but besides the axis, inside, we have a ring. Here is the ring. And on top of this ring we have wire. This wire in some cases also contains palladium. Here I took this wire separately. That's how it looks when you remove it from the ring. And you have to test this wire, especially if the uh, resistors have resistance less than 100 ohms, then you may have a palladium silver alloy here. In my case, I'm not lucky. This is uh, nickel and chromium. <laughs> that's what it is, chromium and nickel. Okay, that's uh, enough about the palladium. We have 12 elements at about 0.1 gram of palladium, current price for five US dollars in the best case. Not so much, but that's what it is. What else we have? Where is the gold? I don't see any visible gold. You can rotate the board, look from all sides, no gold at all. Then I decided to check the transistors and this one was almost removed, so it was easy. So look at these transistors. Also, looking closer to them, you see no visible gold. It's just uh, ordinary, vintage transistor. But when you remove the cap, what a nice surprise. Inside of the transistor, you see very, very nice, thick Soviet Union gold plating. And the best news, we have many transistors like this. So we'll get good, make a good profit from gold on top of the palladium that we'll recover. Now I'll scrap everything and just show you the final result, the small amount of elements that I will take from these boards. Okay guys, that's the final result. We ended up with more than 40 transistors. I'll put them on this small pile and 12 resistors. Thanks for watching, keep scrapping and don't forget to recover your precious metals at the end. The real value is there. Bye!